just a matter of time when someone put the trigger for now. Cool, what? The devil trigger? Okay, never mind then. <laughs> that was bad. That was terrible. Yeah, that was terrible. I mean, my timing is all wrong. So yeah, that was... Uh... You didn't get the just timing, right? Huh? Nope. I keep getting the... the eh, noise. <laughs> oh, wait, I mean, I'm confusing it with uh, Guitar Hero now. Oh no. You have to wait for the A, 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 A. Yeah, there we go. Yep. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And rhythm heaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pop, 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 pop. Monkey, pop, monkey ball, monkey ball, gorilla ball. Uh, uh, rhythm games. But I think it is time. What, it, what time? Time... Your time, time is now. <laughs> time is now. Now it's time to talk about <laughs> something, something time. <laughs> there you go. That's the trigger pull. Cue uh, the intro music, whatever it is. And welcome to Dialogue Log, the Game of Matters podcast. Welcome. Episode 127. 127. Recorded on the 27th of January, 2023. Yeah, second episode of 2023. Who's to say? Who's to say we shall go to 24? Maybe, never know. <laughs> the door is still open, so... We 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 we'll no, cross that bridge. <laughs> we haven't closed that door since twi- since the pandemic started. So okay. <laughs> no I, wonder all these cats keep coming around. No wonder. <laughs> have you considered checking if the door is there? Is if the if the, a door I exists think... even? <laughs> <laughs> no Whenever... wonder the cats keep keeps coming in and the cockroaches as well. Okay, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Uh, back when say like, we we cross that bridge when when we're there lah. When we reach the door, we we'll open lah. Or whatever uh introducing the panel uh we have daniel over there hello on the other side is anan and i am amirul macronos ashraf or mac and we have video games to talk about well not just video games apparently but, but video games still video games uh, mm. PM. <laughs> uh the status quo is, is going to be challenged for this episode apparently yeah. but we'll see We'll see if it goes okay or not. So, it's uh, at the end of January, games start to popping up. Uh, I know everyone's busy, but who wants to shoot first? Oh, okay, I'll shoot first since I'm not going to be talking about a game. Oh, no, no. I don't, I'm not. Uh, we're going to do shooting. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> 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 the, like the, like a film shooting, by the way, don't get the the, the contest we, we shall, twisted. Yeah, we don't take that. All right. Well, before we start, uh, I want to shout out, give a shout out to our friends at Kakusho Pre for giving me the idea. Because uh, because I was scrolling to TikTok and they were, they were talking about uh, this one show. I don't know if you guys heard of this show before yet, but it's quite popular. It's only been the third episode right now. It's about us, and it's the last kind of gen- generic style story, I think, because it is a, a, a fatherly figure trying to save uh, his child from the uh, outer doom in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Oh, you mean God of War? No. <laughs> yeah, maybe? Nah, th- th- no, no. God of War next year. I forgot, yeah. God of War, the TV show's coming next year. Oh my god, <laughs> it is! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Never my joke retracted. I'm That's sending right. the email now. <laughs> ah. Okay, you have to understand, Mac. Uh, in the in the in the lineup of all of the current Sony IPs, all five of them have media nowadays. So we would not, we have the one we're going to talk about, the The Last of Us. And upcoming in July, that's coming this year. That is the Gran Turismo movie. Oh my god, I forgot the Gran Turismo <laughs> is... <sighs> Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then uh, next year, uh, two TV shows coming in. 
which is uh, from Amazon. It is God of War. Can't wait to see that. And from Hulu, so I guess for us, Disney Plus Hotstar, uh, Horizon. So all, all of, so as of 2023 or 24, all of the Sony IPs have now had their own TV show slash movie. Uh, you know what? When you mentioned it, uh, a uh, uh, shout out to that Ratchet and Clank movie. <laughs> they died so that everybody, so that every other IP can first can strive. Uh, that's how Look, they do it. Ratchet and Clank was the guinea pig that had to die first and yep. test the waters. Hey man, oh, uh, uh, the film was like that, which resulted to the rebooted game to be like that as well which is a shame yeah uh it could have been a good thing i would have uh, i would have preferred sony to start being a family friendly company again or something no. like that and now but now everybody wants your gritty uh gritty emotional story about humans star- struggling or something like that uh, 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 yeah, yeah yeah the great race movie is gonna be like about humans struggling because we are going to be <laughs> talking about talking about uh yeah yang mana jan mother bro one of the drivers one of the winners of the gt academy yeah it is a human struggle as well that's okay <laughs> the most relatable one because you know gamer struggles mm. no uh we should check if you should check if the domain is available gamerstruggles.com gamerstruggles.com isn't that a twitter post or something <laughs> uh, oh yeah the last of us all right yeah the last of us mm. it's it's just came out uh two weeks ago ironically enough the first episode was literally of the day after we shoot uh our first episode of the year and it is uh i think i think you and i who know no, what's it about? It is the story of Joel, uh, a man still being haunted by the death of his daughter during uh, in an infection day, where everybody has become mushroom zombies, and he has been tasked by uh, the fireflies to escort this lady, one Ellie, to uh, their camp in the west. All the way, uh, yeah, all the while, shenanigan happens. Okay, I have a question before I continue on. Mike, have you played the game? Oh, yep, yep. You, you mean part one? Yeah. Part one, yeah. Uh, not, not exactly part one, but the original 2013 release. 10 years I mean, ago. 10, oh is the 2014 God. one? Isn't it like free? Isn't the 2014 was free at one point, I remember. Yeah, but, but I, I played the, on the original release, so, okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it is. Uh, I I want to say it's not really a one to one punya remake because there is some elements that they have changed. So the elements have changed. Like instead of a uh, fungus, it was cordis. They changed it to cordyceps, which is like more far more sinister in nature. But it's for real life. It's quite harmless. So instead of you know breathing stuff, you they are not going to wear any masks at all for this whole. What's it called? A whole series, I guess? All 12 episodes of it? Uh, yes, the the, the, the issues of uh, uh, making content yep. with um, very personable faces. You must have the personable faces be on camera. <laughs> I mean, By they, any I, means yeah. necessary. They're, they did hire uh, the, dad, the, the television dad that is Pedro Pascal, so they have to show his face. Not like Get last it. time. Yeah, not like, like, like uh, last gig. <laughs> yeah, his last gig is he couldn't even open his helmet. So yeah, this is a, a step up there. And okay, so it's only been, as of right now, I just said it has been two episodes. So I think I give you a bit of a first impression. Oh yo, first impression. It's like talking. It's like reviewing a video game. Here is my first impression of a TV show I watch. <laughs> uh, I like the tone. Okay, I shall now go to uh the what's it called? The ways that how we do the review. So we'll go to presentation and personal enjoyment. Because I'm pretty sure you cannot put gameplay for a show. Can you, Mac? 
Is there any gameplay to a TV show? <laughs> this is why I don't cover other media other than video <laughs> games. Like what? When you gonna review things like uh, uh, movies and TV, what? You gonna gonna talk about the cinematography or what? Do you want to talk about the coherentness of the story? Yeah. That becomes yeah, something but... out of my wheelhouse. So I I rather not uh uh you in, say in <laughs> no I rather not be like I I my opinions are irrelevant in that space. So yeah. why why bother? Unless someone wants my hot takes, which I actually have many hot takes. Which may, I mean, isn't um, that reviewing it in its own like hot takes? <laughs> reviews are hot I mean, takes. But 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 you can you can but reviews usually a more overall you you give an overall impression it touches yeah. a lot of things but hot takes is basically you distill that one bit of critique you have and then you just put it out there into the masses like you have rather than have like all uh let's say a sandwich yeah you have your your yeah. breading you have your your brioche your bread, bread and then you have your salad <laughs> and then you have your tomato and then you have your tobasco so, and then you have your meat Okay, hot thing is that Tobasco sauce, that special hot sauce that you always keep that makes that whole <laughs> package interesting. And then you just throw Tobasco sauce somewhere out there and see uh, how people feel like. It's either, ah, uh, you ruined the sandwich or, oh yeah, I like this sandwich like that. <laughs> <laughs> to each their own. Yeah, to each their own, yeah. I hate this that I like... use Tobasco sauce as an example. Now that I remember, this is probably that one piece of fact. Yeah. The, the total babasco sauce. God damn. <laughs> the tabasco. Yeah, I I saw that uh, that picture she shot there. Uh uh what piece is real? <laughs> piece is real. Okay. So All right, so I guess we shall go to that route then of talking about cinematography and all. Uh okay, so uh, the cinematography get it's very subjective in a sense as well because uh Back when I was a, st- a student lad, as you might say, we had to do this uh in the like I guess it's a thing it's a thing where you have to eat like dissect how does this shot work and work like you know a dolly camera or uh or uh, like a panning shot or whatever. Uh, this I think like they more rely on like grounded effects like you you are dead like essentially it, it is the thing that that uh most of the sony games have done perfectly in the video game form where you essentially you, the cameraman is there and he and he or she is also running with the likes of joel tess and ellie in the episodes when they get chased by uh, a clicker so i guess uh Well, you cannot say that. You, you cannot say uh, praise the cameraman in, in a video game, but you can say that in, in the Last of Us TV show because goddamn, they they do have to run as well. I mean, all of the story beat is there. It is essentially the first two episodes. It is the first two missions. So, Joel's uh, Joel losing his daughter, then gains another daughter, in which he has to transport it to the museum, where well, here's where but it's like. I think like for the betterment of the story again, because technically, th- because it, according to the game, it, when they reach the museum, uh, Fedra, one of the like main protagonists of the series of the first game, comes and takes over the Firefly. But here's where it uh, devolves, uh, like splits into a different, I want to say timeline, but different style of storytelling because in this show they change it so that the fedra didn't kill uh well, the fireflies that was waiting there it was the the runners you know like the small scale before the clickers that killed uh, the lot and i kind of feel like they want to uh retro retroactively change that so that it flows with the storyline better mm-hmm. because it, the co-director of this show besides uh uh hbo's own apa uh, craig masbin which is who does the chernobyl series is also neil drummond so <laughs> aka the director of this game as well so i guess they mutually agreed oh yeah let's actually make it more cohesive like oh yeah these things are more scary than it, than it seems without 
without you know showing like oh yeah they are both evil you know it all comes full circle let's make hey let's make games more cinematic why are you making games more cinematic if you were gonna make a cinematic game just just make cinema sure here i go i'm making yeah, cinema yeah, he, he has been, uh, I, think, like, I don't know episodes, can. He's, he's going to make like two another two so i guess this one and probably the last one where spoilers uh if i haven't played the game i mean it's already a decade old but I- i'm gonna tell you have, he's just picked up a copy of the the last of us part one for ps5 on sale right now oh yeah a bit of attention do you know how many percent uh the sales have been sold for both the the part uh, the ps5 and the ps4 version of the game i don't know a few hundred percent uh i i saw the numbers just now it was 200 percent for the ps4 version the remastered and and one and 250 percent for the ps5 version okay i'm trying really hard not to be an elitist and let's say any minute uh i played it for, I, for y'all no 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 <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, i'm trying really hard not to make sick jokes about it no 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 let that everyone can play the games no matter yeah. where the entry point is Yeah. Even though yes, the the there is the the inner me is fighting really hard right now wants to say something about this. No 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 no, you, you go and have your fun, because ultimately, uh, even though uh, stuff like cross media stuff like this is not particular my thing, yeah, it still leads to more people investing on yeah, the thing invest- I like. So come come here. Yeah why not enjoy the show all right here's the video game we've been playing right the beforehand looks how, how where it how it does things differently or or something like that yeah, yeah have that discussion sure mm, yeah like i think like this is actually this is i want okay yes, i i am kind of glad that sony has done it a, wet, a better job than whatever the fuck <laughs> xbox did with halo last my year my god the, <laughs> the, the halo was that halo tv show still is being the butt of a joke of terrible tv adaptations yeah. I, i do mean that literally <laughs> it's still like oh man what a bummer halo have, has been they could have gotten the, the w's especially right now with the state of halo infinite where yeah uh, no mm. no i think it's, it's perfect for the state of halo and how the move the show turns out <laughs> terrible it alluded to the eventual issues that halo yeah. infinite has with uh, trying to be a live service game which it does not succeed right now uh. yeah so like i said it's just a first impression because it is it's only been episode three out of 12 and i think like i've heard rumblings that it's going to be a second season i <laughs> worry laughter because uh, i we don't like most of the gamers know what what was going to happen in the part in the second season okay hold on hold on uh is is the first season gonna cover the entirety of the first game story or are they gonna like do like maybe like a quarter part you know like how final fantasy 7 remake is not a full remake of the actual game Have they mentioned that? Or have the showrunners diverged that detail? Hmm. I have no idea. I'm I'm checking, but I think because if they're doing like one season equals one game, they are now like uh limited oh, yeah. to two seasons only. No, no, no. Yeah. Unless according they want to go yeah. uh, the Game of Thrones route. And... No, no, no. They uh, according to uh, Variety, which is essentially the big media, you know, the the Hollywood stuff. The first season will adapt entirety of the first se- the first game. Okay. So oh my so second oh god second season. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, I, I'm pretty sure with with the highs of it is yeah. The second season is is just is going to be a, a, a different and my god. I am not ready for that. <laughs> Hold on, Anna, like, I cannot hear you yeah hello all oh, right okay now i i i think i might have heard some things i don't know this is is this alluding to something you're gonna talk about no because i'm hearing things 
Oh my god. Oh, the no. foreshadowing. The foreshadowing has happened. Spooky yeah, sounds. Spooky sounds. I, I have no way to edit that out, but you he, you listeners gonna hear that spooky sounds together. Or, oh, I'm, no. or maybe I am the insane one who's hearing something out of nothing. But anyways. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for uh, The Last of Us. I, I will come back to you guys in March when the season ends. Uh, but so far, it looks nice. But... The reason why we're talking about move of media for this episode is besides that I haven't played any video games besides uh a one, one game that we, uh, I'm doing a review for. Uh, that's another this this one movie which is currently running. Uh, essentially, it is the game, a uh, the game lah, the movie that is going to sweep the Oscars or the Academy Awards. And that is uh, the Daniels, everything, everywhere, all at once. And my goodness. It is... <laughs> I, I think I'll just repeat what I said on my Twitter again. It is actual peak cinema. It... And I think, like, Mac, if we, if we ever get the chance to watch this again, together, oh, you will enjoy this one. Because uh, the gist of it is, is essentially all of the it. I think like I want to say it's a mix of uh, what can I say? It's a, it's a mix of it might be it might be lost the tradition to some of our listeners can who are overseas because this sort of movie, the everything everywhere else one, is essentially again what classic hong kong film used to be like like just absurdist humor and then and then like very good action scenes and then when when they want to go emotional they can push the emotions to up to whatever whatever count that you want 10 11 whatever it will be that emotional so set piece after set piece with a little comedic slapstick thrown here yeah. and there it, yeah it's essentially <laughs> Oh, like old school Hong Kong film, so you know the Jackie Chan's, the Stephen Charles, and then you have the dramatic, melodramatic stuff like the and stuff like Andy Lau does, like you know that melodramatic uh, romance and uh, but like family family issues. Yeah, it's just like somehow somehow they have uh, they have concentrated it into one very interesting two hours of a movie. Which is why it's he has won like I think like they have won like five uh, awards in the Golden Globes. Basically, the the award show before the big award show. And I don't I cannot I cannot go into spoiler that much because it is very good and I want people to watch this one. But uh, I can say that their visual aspect uh visual effects is impressive for for like. Uh, I think like a five-person team, including the directors themselves, both of them. So like three VFX guys, and then the directors as are working on the VFX. And it is just like out of this world. I'm impressed. Alongside uh, the, the music cues and the action sequence and the story, which is, I want to say it's very subversive for it, for this sort of cinema in this day and age as well. So I'm sorry I have to be vague, but it is yeah, it is really good. Like I, I don't want to go spoilers, but uh, uh I can say it is on uh, Astro, it is on uh, HBO if you want if you have in Malaysia or whatever suits your fancy, you know. You know, uh sell the seas or go underground, whatever. You have to watch this movie. <laughs> it's that good. I love it. Oh yeah, what does the film critics do? They they give us they give a rating as well, right? Don't they? Uh huh. Um, okay. They give a rating. Yeah, they did get it. So, uh, as a video, as a reviewer, well, even though it's, it is this is out of my league, yet, uh, I want to give it the highest rating of all, ten stars. Uh, have to watch. Uh, go watch it now. <laughs> Turn off this podcast and go watch it. <laughs> no, please don't. Don't run away. We please need don't. a metric. Oh, no, we need a metric, please. 
and in this the only reason why oh yeah i understand why it's it's winning everything right now is that good and it's not me talking about uh, it's not me uh bandwagoning bandwagoning on everyone oh yeah the the lead actress is actually malaysia no no nah, i'm not bandwagoning nah <laughs> nah this is this is actual peak cinema voice come on So yeah, that is. Malaysian. Oh, uh, actually, uh, she is John Todd's partner. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I forgot. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Ah, the it all comes back full circle. <laughs> or rather, Formula uh, One. Oh, oh, Formula One. Or rather, a lap. <laughs> full circle. It full circle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So I shall now open. Uh, oh no, okay. the uh, the usher is now ushering me out. I think I'm gonna get kicked f- uh, from this movie stand. <laughs> Def noticed that I'm a video game reviewer instead of a movie reviewer. So yeah. before I get kicked, uh, and <laughs> anyone else take the stand? Okay, like, at least they, they they didn't throw you the cue card and showing you pointing out that yo time out time out time out. <laughs> Uh, how about this? Uh, let me go first. We reserve uh Anand's thoughts of a very hot game right now, and then we go to the other game that's very hot right now, and then the news, because that's the flow yeah, sure. I can see that makes a lot more sense for this episode. So yeah, yeah. remember last time when we talk about the lens between. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, that uh, Anand has sold me on a trip. Dude. <laughs> so yeah, I took, yeah. I took my holiday. <laughs> I took the, uh, the the travel agency package to to visit the last between somewhere in Ohio or is it Kelantan? Ah, anywhere Ohio. in between there. Fucking <laughs> Ohio! Oh my god! Uh, oh no. So yeah, yeah. I play Elden Ring. Uh, shout out to the folks at uh, Bandai Namco for hooking us up with a key for that one. Thank you, Bamco. Even though it's one year, they graciously provided. No, 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 no. They they heard that they won a, an award by default. Yeah. Just gave it to <laughs> us. Yep. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> s- somehow, somehow they got recognition. Anyways, uh, here here's my thoughts of Elden Ring from a non source non non souls like gamer. But who has dabbled with souls like he and there? It's not like I never played a souls like game. I've touched Bloodborne. I've given Dark Souls to a, a fair shot. I played a bunch of Neo. So, I, I yes, also I have tried Sekiro before release and I suck at it for obvious reasons. But yeah, it's not like I never played this game. Uh, this sort of games is more that I don't find much enjoyment for sticking through. The kuang kuat suffering, and you know what, Anand? I think we could revisit back the the question you say about is it uh, Elden Ring is souls like but open world or open world but but souls like? I can see yeah, your point so on the, the other side. That, that's <laughs> why that that's the the question that I wish to ask like everyone playing this game. Yeah, now now that I've played the game, I can see why you you are on the other side of the the argument of saying this is open world but souls like because a lot of Elden Ring, uh, because of to 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 you say to have that open world be the center stage of the game, right? A lot of the aspects that you expect from a souls like, which I firmly believe a good souls like should have tight that will design. Very tight level design with where uh, which is very much crafted to bring you a specific experience, and by specific I mean suffering and also, uh, jump on the players. So yes, there will, and the skill mm, checks, especially yeah. the skill checks. Uh huh. Mm, always, always a skill check. But to accommodate that, uh, open world, the the part where it plays like a source like is very far in between, <laughs> far between. Like the fact that I started the game, and the first part where I actually like follow the quote unquote actual story, and it, where I go to the first so slight level, mm-hmm. I took like twenty hours into before before I actually like play the game for real for yeah. real. 
<laughs> Look, I went out when when uh, apa, uh when I went out with the grave again after the tutorial and whatever again. Okay. I went south. Oh, you went south. Okay. I went south and to was more mid- Yes, I went there middenless. I never oh, level the up. Man went oh my god! I went. I went around the middle list. I mean, I still die here and there, but I figure out, like I play still like very carefully, manage to get all the runes back every time I die. Yes, I crossed that bridge. It was horrendous. That was the first scare of my life. Like, oh, this is a very intimidating bridge. Uh, okay, there are guards there. Okay, kill the two guards, and then suddenly ballista shots. What the hell? <laughs> ballista shot from like over the end of and of course like any good uh, souls like games the best strategy is to just run yes <laughs> and you fight. know when you are in an open world the opportunities to run away is more than I want to say limitless but there are some limits but you you can basically yeah. run away from from most encounters you, you yes. find a su- like you suddenly found a boss Like mm-hmm. you, you know, the three sentinels there, and and then you yeah. try give a one good hit and see how much damage you do, barely any damage. Nigerun dayo, run, leg it, find find way, and and I should also mention my my maiden last uh, maiden list run means not only that I cannot level up, but I went through the sweeping peninsula. Without Torrent, without the horse. Oh no! Why did you? Man's, like man's doing, doing the hard mode. Yeah, I don't. The hard mode. <laughs> I was pushing. I was pushing the game. How much fun can I still play? And also, how much can I go while doing this stupid thing by not following the story? And the the answer to that is, I get a good 10 hours of play time before I say, "Suck it, let's find uh." The go back to the critical path and then meet the the actual maiden, get the maiden and then start level up and get the horse and whatever. Oh yeah, I went there and then I, not only I went to the sweeping peninsula, I actually meant no no I stopped from going to the castle exactly because you know there's there is a there's a lost grave spot just outside of the it's called the rampart right? so there's like mm-hmm. one long one long run to the castle and I was on foot and then the moment I enter the barricades the, the fallen barricades that consider okay this is the castle ground I was greeted by a big hello and by a big hello there's a giant cannon shooting out of nowhere Kabang! from all over to the uh, to the other side of the of the screen there suddenly a big cannon comes in and like, okay nope I have no energy to run there, so that s- stops my run lah, my maidenless run. And then I got on the horse. I got everything there. I didn't go. Uh, I did try to go follow the story. Uh, fight Majid, Majid, mm. as expected. Skill issue didn't get through. So then I figure, okay, now what? Can can I still keep playing without passing through this? skill check and without suffering as in uh, without like trying to grind myself into getting stronger doing the same thing over and over again let's just exp- can I still explore the world get stronger by by just natural gameplay and then come back and beat the boss or something like that the answer to that not no. only can I do that I can oh, okay. the answer is yes but, yes. O- but also I somehow I stumbled upon a secret route. There is another Ooh. path that shot from cuts the Stormvale Castle. Yeah, from behind. So basically, I just went there. Uh, I jump around some edges around the cliffs, and then suddenly bump out. And oh, oh yeah, I've passed the castle. Welcome to the lake. Yeah, welcome to the lakes. Wow. Wow, this! The <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. I, I I genuinely went to no, I didn't went to the academy. I went to the left side of the map. Oh, Follow yeah, the cliff, <laughs> and then go northwards into. Uh, I meet Eg, the the big dude oh, there. Oh, Eg, yes. The, yeah. The, and, the, and then after that, you will reach uh, the Carrier Manor. Okay. Yeah. No, I, that one's the future, yeah. I went there. I took a peek, and then I saw crawling fingers. Nope. I nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> out. Nope. Nope. No way. 
Nah, not, that was my first reaction. Nope. <laughs> mm, no. Oh, so I try my cursory one hit check and see if it uh if I can take them down. I cannot. I run away. Also going to to that upper to that manner. It's also one of the. I think it's all all the big places or the big locations in Elden Ring all have that kind of thing where it's either a giant arrow, a ballista, a cannon, or magical missiles that will haunt you as you approach a big area. So that one was like, oh, magic missile! Oh my god! But yeah, I went around the map. So far, but also I uh I took heed on no Anna you mentioned the the ticket to Ohio right yep I followed yes. that no because there's there was there yeah, was the, like you hmm. didn't went to Ohio you went to Mexico oh Mexico okay <laughs> man takes the tunnel to Mexico uh, <laughs> okay there, there there was two occasions let me let me explain first first the first okay. thing is uh. Because they were, uh, I was sweeping the 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 weeping peninsula, sweeping the peninsula mm-hmm. again. Uh, there was like a few of the towers that you can climb. There, there were like uh yeah. like rangers with with ballistas up there, mm-hmm. and then I cleared it up, and then I found one of the good ones because not only there's a ballista there, the treasure chest on the other side, you get a weapon, heavy ballista. Oh, nice. Usually, I check all, all the treasure chests because you know always there's gonna be messages. Is there the word liar ahead? Is there the word? <laughs> How much appraised are those messages? Just just to be sure, you know maybe there's a trap. Mm. Maybe you never know. This is the sort of game that will throw bullshit. Yeah, actual mayhaps. <laughs> yeah, and some people may do a little bit of trolling, so you also never can trust the messages. So, but I always check that. But after that, have you, like the the dopamine high of getting a big ballista that I cannot even use because the stats are too high. I think it needs like strength thirty or something. Like oh, the still a cool thing. I kind of like forgot to check, or maybe I do, but I still want to check. Uh, but but apparently I went to the Tower of Return. Do the same thing. Uh, same layout, and then suddenly there's a chest also. Hey, why not open the chest? Oh no! Oh no! It's okay, a loading how? screen. Oh no! Oh no! And uh, yeah, I I teleported into what's called what's the main town again? Lindel something. Lindel, Lindel, yeah. Lindel yeah, yeah. Capital, yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. the Golden City, right? Yep. Ah, uh, thank God, there's a grace there. I thought I was stuck there, <laughs> which we which would be very intimidating because I tried fighting the Colossus again. The ones one cursory check of hitting. No damage. That would have been a nightmare to go through. I was totally under level to go there. But then, uh, there is a lake in south of Lingrave. You know, there there's a dragon there, yeah. But there's also yeah, a ruins. Yeah. There's some. There's like underground ruins that you can go. Yeah. For whatever reason, I forgot. No, no. I check. I check the message. They say this is a trap. Yeah, a lot of the messages say trap, trap, trap. Yep, yep. Which makes me curious. <laughs> How? <laughs> no. Okay. If this is a trap, what sort of trap is it? I need to know. <laughs> the, the 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 messages make me like morbidly curious of where I'm gonna go this time because I've I went to Ohio. What could have been worse? I open the chest and then I dodge out. It it can be dodge out. So you yeah, can you can escape, general. not like the one with Ohio. The uh, Ohio chest cannot, which is weird. This one you can. That makes me even more curious. Okay, if I go there, what will happen? Am, uh, is it poison damage? Is it instant death? It's not a mimic. I know that now. I open there and then I got sent into the mines, literal mines. Ah uh, yes, you're playing Minecraft now. In Kelly. Ah yeah. Hmm. In Tanah Merah. <laughs> Man, I thought like Kelit was e- an easy place to go. Like okay, no. ever like no. Limgrave. No. Okay, yeah, sweeping peninsula, similar level you can go. Kelit, the level jumps high. No, <laughs> so no, 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 no. This is late level stuff. So yeah, it was a struggle going out of the mines. Um, uh, uh, let's say 30 minutes of dying. 
until I figure out oh there's a grease down there okay finally yes. you can you can basically run through until like the end of the mine but the question is which way though doko <laughs> dochi actual doko moment uh, that you, because you are literally in the middle of nowhere and you have no reference of where is up and where is down as in where is the entrance where is the exit is it going up or is it going down is it going here that's peak shenanigri you put you you put someone in not even certain doom like into a probable lit, uh, loop death loop death death loop <laughs> it's a death loop that maybe some people cannot find a way out uh, but it's easy enough when you figure it out lah but still the 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 feeling of being bamboozled is there like oh you cheeky fuckers <laughs> That's the Elden Ring experience, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm. But anyway, I did figure out how to uh, beat Majid. And yes, that is by uh, leveling up way more than I should. I think by the... By I reach Majid, I have like seven flasks with plus five. Oh, okay. That is excessive. So I went... <laughs> I say I went around... I that went. Excessive, man. <laughs> I really went to town and visit all the shrines. So like, eh. so th- there's no like, uh, uh, the the upgrades is just linear stuff, right? You're not like uh picking one or the other, right? In terms of the, the use of good golden seeds and the sacred tears, right? It's just yeah. for that thing, and yeah, just uh, for flas, yeah, golden tears and oh, for, oh, but for larval tears, that one's also used for respecting. So ah. if you want to respect, you use larval tier. Okay, good to know. Because even okay. the UI seems like doesn't say that oh this might be used for something else. No, no, this is like you upgrade. You want to upgrade or not? Okay, upgrade. I mean, so, that, that's hmm. the Souls One experience for you. Yeah. <laughs> tell yeah. <me> stuff. <laughs> Figure it out, buddy. Yeah, tough shit, buddy. Get wrong. Better luck next time. Yeah. <laughs> uh. But oh, you, my, you just met that NPC two hours ago. Good luck finding him again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, even like, as you mentioned, Anand, some of the quests are obtuse, right? That, that yeah. I, I found some... I thought it was a quest line, but then it ended uh, either abruptly or in a, an unsatisfactory manner. It's like, oh, that, that's it? Oh, okay then. That's it? <laughs> no, that's it? Yeah. Like the 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 uh, the thing that I wanted to go to castle to the mon ah uh, mon castle like right? castle mon castle mon yeah ah uh, yeah I met some some maiden up somewhere saying like hey can you send this letter to my father or something okay I finally met I went there sent the letter and then come back and then the the maiden's dead yeah that's it she is dead. <laughs> And I like then, to imagine. Okay. I like to imagine it's that like. Uh, no, no. I like to imagine that it's like that one in 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 Fallout. Okay, there's this one quest you have to send a letter again, but somehow somebody kills him or kills him off halfway through. Oh yeah, and and that's it. Uh, I mean, yeah. the rest of the messages down there is all also people emoting very sadness. Uh, What the fuck? <laughs> saying oh, something also, like uh, when you hmm. arrive at at the girl's place again, uh, and the 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 message literally said. She's dead. No. And that's it. <laughs> okay, mine was even better. Okay, I met that girl. Okay, and then uh. take the letter. And I was like, you know what? I'm too underleveled for Castle Mort. I better scram and maybe level up, do so, do some shit. Okay, and by by the time I went to Castle Mort, she's he's dead. He's already dead, gone. I'm like, oh, okay. I cannot give this letter. Okay, I better go back to the girl. And she's dead. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> Both like, uh, okay, too late. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know what? By not making this a checklist, I think I'm totally okay with unsatisfactory ends to yeah. quote unquote quests. It's, it's just there. You want to do it? Yeah. Do it. Uh, and if you don't want to do it, we might pull off some weird things that you might notice or not notice. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's my experience of Elden Ring. Like, mm-hmm. I stopped 
like I I tried to go to I I've managed to go into academy academy uh, Fantasia academy raya raya academy raya lukaria uh, lakar ya raya lukaria academy ah uh, yeah I went there ah uh, I I I think I made it far enough but I stop at the part where there are three sorcerers the Burger King sorcerers plus ah uh, a big oh, jaw yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that room, that specific room. I just like mm-hmm. ah cannot lah. Ah, uh, the way I spec my character is to be very good at one on one moments. Mm-hmm. So, and I have no backup. Like my incantation is still like terrible. It's not good enough. And in that kind of specific situations, ah, uh, not yet. I I should just level up until like. Level forty or so, and they just visit and uh, yeah. just 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 blaze through the whole thing there. And yeah. from that point, I went back to Custom Stormville, and then I start playing Dark Souls, and then I stopped. <laughs> yeah, going uh going the moment of like figuring out the path and try not to die, and if die, safely back get back the runes, and try not to die again. And that is like. The part that is like uh slowing me down a bit, but the open world bit is fun. It works. The open world part is fun. Like I would even recommend Elden Ring to people who just want open world games. I mean, there will be a hard lock to how much you find enjoyment, but as an open world game, it works very well. The fact that I can get twenty hours and I can. I, if I have that twenty hours and by now I stop, I I install the game. I think I still have ha, I can reflect that I have got a good experience from playing that twenty hours. Just that alone, I don't need to like go visit to. I know there's at least two more locations that I haven't reached. That I know there's a snowy area and there's some weird ruins in the water or whatever. So, but I have like traversed. Enough of of the lens between to find enjoyment without actually engaging in the souls like bits as much as the game has. So that's Elden Ring. Yeah. Another another shiny endorsement from Game of Matters. Yeah. <laughs> like because of you know I've been playing other games as well like the the one one piece is. Like that. That's a typical JRPG, right? And then I'm currently also playing For Spoken, which, yeah, I'm comparing notes. What, uh, what open world beats that work in Elden Ring compared to the other open world games like that I've played, like something like From Horizon, something like like For Spoken. There are like some beats, some elements that may or may not work as well. But now that I I now I remember it. The best comparison to why open uh, Elden Ring's open world works is because it feels like Skyrim and or Breath of the Wild. <laughs> In terms of yeah, go anywhere, go yeah. do whatever. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. That yeah, is the comparison. You it's see, <laughs> you see that mountain? You can go there. <laughs> like literally, you can go there. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's Elden Ring. And then we now we can move to the hot game. Yeah, the hot potato of of the podcast. Uh, hold on, hold on. Is the lights on? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The the game will literally release in twenty five minutes from now, at the time of recording. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so that game, game is. What game are we talking about? Hmm. Lights out. Mm-hmm. I I can hear some scuttling, some flash, flashy sound. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. What is it? Try try stomping the floor a bit. I stomp the floor. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the the remake of I would say one of the best survival horror games out there. Survival horror shooter. Which is Dead Space, yeah, Dead Space remake. So first of all, thank you to EA for providing us with the code to 
revisit Dead Space remake, the the Dead Space universe in all its glory. So yeah, where where should I start? <laughs> I don't know, man. There's a lot to unpack. Yeah, uh, there's a lot to unpack. Uh, let let's establish the game uh, itself yeah, first. Yeah. Mm, the the OG okay. game. Yeah, the OG. The first game was released in 2007 or 2008. Yeah, so 2008. Uh, originally, okay. Uh, the game that space uh released 2008 by uh EA Redwood Shores at that time, and then turned to Visceral Games. Now Visceral Games pretty much like defunct or whatever. Or maybe doing NFS. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, they're dead. Dead. Oh, they're dead. Okay, they're dead. Okay. Yeah, it was short. Okay, uh, a bit of uh, like prologue to that space, as in the the development. They initially wanted to make System Shock Three, I believe. So yeah, the the early plan is is a sequel to System Shock, but uh, some of the de- uh, some of the developers played a different survival horror game, which will release its remake this year. Uh, <laughs> just Resident Evil 4 and they were like oh this game is so good why don't we pivot our game to a more survival horror kind of thing so yeah, and then Dead Space was born uh, it's a survival, survival horror shooter uh, in space of course like the name Dead Space in a spaceship USG Ishimura Where you have to fight these uh, alien creatures called necromorphs, and uh, the the most innovative thing with that space at that time is you don't defeat the enemy by headshot. You you defeat the enemies, the necromorphs, by something called strategic dismemberment, which is you cut off the limbs, so the the arms and the legs, and then okay, the necros are dead. So instead of the the normal FPS kind of uh, killing by headshot, okay, no, no, we don't do headshots here. We cut off the arms, okay? <laughs> Thank you for reminding the technical term for the strategic, <laughs> strategic dismemberment. <laughs> yeah. Hey, for any of you listeners out there, I I have said it multiple times. I'm a big Dead Space fan, so yeah, a lot of the terms, the the law, the storyline, it's in my head. Okay, you can just ask me anything. I can just answer it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, more than a decade later, wait, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008, 
uh, be- because uh, that space is not just uh, constrained within the the games. I say that space two, three. There, there's also the expand. I call it the dead space extended universe. <laughs> oh yeah. The, S- the SEU, yeah. So you have the novels, you have the comics, and then you have the the light gun games. The, the what? The light, the light gun, gun games. <laughs> then the on the Wii. Games, yeah, on the Wii. Uh, yeah. And then there's the the DLC the DLC games uh, for consoles. Is that space severe? This one exclusive yeah. on Xbox 360 and PS3. There's no PC release, and I'm still mad about it. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, yeah. that that was a thing. Yeah, yeah. Free yeah, only games. That, yeah, that's space severe. It's, uh, the main character is Gabe Newell because his suit is so awesome. Uh, his left eye. So so instead of like a like a normal helmet visor, his l- like left eye area is a, a orange flashlight. Oh, that that is so cool, man! Um, ah, come on. Yeah, <laughs> also, yeah. the 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 exclusive hacker suit, which is you basically just wear like a shirt and jeans, then a, a helmet, and you can just go out in space. Yeah, that that one is locked. Uh, with the the that space severe. The, the DLC, the, the expansion, yeah. So only on consoles. I, I don't have it on PC. I'm like, yeah, ma. If I sound salty, because I am. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, okay, where was I? Uh, uh, extended Universe. Uh, yeah, extended. extended Universe. So yeah, because all of this uh, uh, Extended Universe, the lore, uh, the space remake now also includes the the extended universe lore, especially with regards to the the overarching like antagonist or like the dark element of the the universe, which is the Unitology Church. Ah uh, yes, uh, yeah. Scientology guys. Yeah, Scientology. Definitely Unitology. not Scientology guys. Yeah. We we can... <laughs> which were established like centuries past. On Earth, and then yeah, the and yeah, I mean this game has already been like what fourteen years. I, I think I can spoil a bit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This unitologist is the reason the necromorphs exist. So, yeah. So yeah, the but in, incorporating the law, so they expanded some. Uh, they expanded the the character story, like especially Daniels, Kendra Daniels, the the female crew member that. That that it was with Isaac coming with uh with things in USG Kelly. Okay. So and she's been given like a more sympathetic storyline. So instead of being an ass during the original game, now in the remake she's uh, a lot more involved and then uh, a lot more sympathetic character. Like, yeah, that like, you know more on her backstory, like, like some of family and stuff. I won't spoil a lot of things. Okay, go play. Your play? <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah. When it comes to the okay, that space okay, that's the storyline. It's Isaac being given voice and some characters have been expanded. Uh, visually, okay, it's beautiful. So yeah, upgraded textures, upgraded models, the lighting. I don't have ray tracing, but if, if I have, I will use ray tracing. I. It, even if I didn't have ray tracing right now, it's, it still looks beautiful. But when it when it's dark, it's really dark. As in, you cannot see shit. Okay, <laughs> and you only have your flashlight. And then, okay, the the corridor is dark. You only have your flashlight, and then because your flashlight is too bright, you can't even see the enemy. And like, the tension is real. Okay, I, I'm clenching my ass every time I play this game. <laughs> And it's the first hour, yeah. Quite the gripping game, I yeah, guess. Very gripping. <laughs> very gripping, yeah. Very gripping. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the keyword here is tension because it's not exactly scary. Um, of course, it's survival horror, but the necromorphs are not scary like it's, it's not going to haunt you in your dreams like getting nightmares no it's just the tension that the game presented to you when playing this game you're in a big ass uh, spaceship on like the verge of downfall 
and creatures like running within its walls. So like yeah, you you walk into the corridor, like you hear your footsteps, and then you hear scuttling, and then creaks, whispers, and like yeah, am I am I going insane? Is there something behind me? Even if you are in a well lit room, like you physically, like not in the game, you physically in in your room, like you can feel like something's like behind your neck. <laughs> at least at least that's what I felt like within like f- first couple hours. Fascinating. Yeah. yeah, I mean, different people may like experience differently, but for me, I I okay. I personally only finished that the first that space once because of how like I don't know scary it is. Like the, I I cannot handle the tension. <laughs> to be honest, I was like, okay, one time good enough. Okay, that space two, that space three, I played like multiple times. I finished multiple times because it because it feels kind of open. And there's no like doesn't feel confined. Doesn't feel like. Something's gonna jump through you, and also the the gameplay is linear. So, by linearity, you don't have to backtrack, and I hate backtracking, and that's why this game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah, yeah, I remember that's the OG that space. So you're oh, like, oh, yeah, go yeah, back, go yeah. back here. Go back. Mm. Nah, no, why? No, please, no. <laughs> I don't want to go back. The new one, though. Oh. How is it? That, does it have bad tracking? Yeah, I mean, of course. Ah, uh, still have it. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the core, it's the core tenets of the original Dead Space. You go here and there. You 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 backtrack. Uh, yeah, which is uh, pretty much eliminated in Dead Space Two and Dead Space Three. So yeah, that that's kind of like loot. It it, it Dead Space kind of lost its souls. Uh, in that space two and that space three, the the backtracking itself, and the the tight corridors, right? That's a, that's the two thing that I I feel like really defines the tension in that space. Like you have to track back and see the carnage that you have caused, wondering whether any of them will come again, and they did. <laughs> they always do, <laughs> because. Now we have a director system, like in Left 4 Dead, <laughs> which will uh, pretty much uh, invoke custom scenarios. Yeah, they call it custom scenario, but it's actually just you know a necromorph coming and just <laughs> just attacking you when you backtrack. So yeah. Uh, what else? So yeah, okay. To encourage uh, backtracking, as in to make it a bit less tedious, so they introduced this uh, security clearance system, whereby certain rooms and lockers are locked. So let's say, okay, the the, the early chapters, okay, chapter one or chapter two, you went through, let's say, engineering, whatever, and then oh, this room is locked. You don't have the security clearance level. Okay, but to get the security clearance, you have to proceed through the story, and by that time, it may be like in a in a different sector, in 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 a different parts of the Ishimura. So, if you want to get that loot, and especially like certain schematics or like high level, uh, high value loot, you have to backtrack. Okay, and there's also the inclusion of a uh, side mission, because. Yeah, uh, I believe the side missions. If you complete them, you unlock a slightly different ending. So there are different endings depending on how you complete the the side mission. Side mission. Oh, that's new. Okay, that's new. Yeah, because I remember. Yeah, I, believe so. I believe so. I I need to mm. check. Yeah. Check the notes. It's probably somewhere yeah. there. Mm. Yeah. Also, apparently, this game has been turned into a proper Metroidvania. Hey yo. Mm-hmm. Is it? As in, you know, the uh, bad tracking is one thing when mm-hmm. it regards to Metroidvania. But the other is it like you go, you backtrack, and then you see more places being opened up. Yes. After you progress further, exactly. so like the you, the usual Metroidvania slash uh, what they call it, search action game. 
the whole trick is that oh somewhere in in uh, a couple of hours of play oh you found a new ability that you can access that place that you didn't get to access before and then oh how convenient the story says that you have to go back there now i can go back up there or sub- down there or in there or whatever yeah sounds a bit metroidvania ish yeah i have a bit metro right oh castlevania that's right yeah also yeah. uh close <laughs> closer apa? Uh, comparison might be control oh you yeah, do go sense. back around the offices here and there here and there so yeah. Uh, and then well, oh yeah uh, when it comes to like overall what's it experience uh motif stated that the game is seamless as in there's no loading screen of course if you die or you load your save game there are that you will see loading screen but if you manage to just play in one sitting and not die there's no uh, loading screen here But of course, you know the tricks. You went through corridors. You ride a vehicle. Of course, it's loading in between, right? <laughs> so yeah. But uh, as compared to the origin that space, you when you ride the tram to a different part of the Ishimura, you you see a loading screen. But here, when you ride the tram, they it just close the door and then uh, a blurry scene just move past. Then there's a loading screen. Also, when you ride the elevator, yeah, of course. There's also a, a, a hidden loading screen. The cheeky loading screen. Yeah, <laughs> cheeky loading screen. They say, okay, there's no loading screen. Technically, yeah, but you have loading, like loading sequence, as I call it. <laughs> hmm. What else? Uh, okay. What difficulty are you playing as, can I ask? Uh, I'm playing on the normal, uh, as in medium. Yeah, yeah, better yeah. Than, because I've been uh, I've been looking at my but a bunch of Twitch streamers playing it on hard. Like holy moly, dude, it's hard. <laughs> That's why like, even on medium. Okay, even on medium, I rarely got uh the health packs. Ah, like okay. very sparingly. Like I usually have to buy it from the store. Like yeah. most of most of my credits are spent either on upgrades. Or health, health packs. Hmm. So good luck to those playing on hard. Yeah, you, good luck. You, you, you troopers, man. <laughs> you troopers. Uh, I, I did uh, started the game like first couple chapters. I played with controller, and I have to say the controller, the gameplay feels really good. Very, very okay. Especially when you're in vacuum. They say you you enter a vacuum area, you can feel the controller vibrates to your heartbeat. To, to Isaac's heartbeat. Oh, that's cool. And as your oxygen uh, depletes, as, as, as you get closer to empty, it, it, it gets uh, stronger. Oh. So you know, okay, I have to find oxygen. Oh, that, have to that. <laughs> that's a clever use. Uh, I, I yeah. bet that the PS5 version makes use of that very well with the yeah. DualSense haptics. Yeah, yeah. DualSense, mm. uh, yeah. The PS5, I think, is even better haptics because of the, you know, the... They have the triggers and stuff. Yep. I guess it's better. So yeah, I I, I sort of miss uh, the 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 haptic senses when I play with mouse and keyboard. But yeah, I I do need a bit more agility when it comes to playing this game. <laughs> like shooting necromorphs are not easy, man. Even with aim assist, and with uh, your ammunition and your health packs are very scarce. There's not a lot of them, so every shot counts. Yeah, I'd rather be efficient and use the uh, uh, keyboard and mouse. <sighs> hmm. Also, uh, another upgrade: quality of life. As in, it it's it's no longer f- it doesn't feel clunky anymore. Also, some 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 of the upgrades are brought over from the space too, for uh, especially the weapons. Uh, things like uh the pulse rifle. So instead of uh, the alternate fire being you shooting uh, in a in a radius, now it's uh, fires a, a grenade, so a proximity grenade. Ah, and, yeah. It, so, so also some changes to other weapons, but so basically it's taken from the space too. 
And then uh, power nodes. Okay, so now because uh, the rooms are locked with security clearance, you don't have to sacrifice power nodes for unlocking this room. Uh... So, yeah. so power nodes are used for upgrades. Right? So upgrade your rig, upgrade your weapons. So you don't use these power nodes. You don't waste this on lock rooms anymore. And then when it comes to the upgrades, when upgrading your, your equipment, uh in the in the original and also uh that space two wait do we do we have oh no, no that space three is like way easier no that space one that space two the original there are uh upgrade path nodes where it's empty as in you put it there just to connect with uh, the nodes. Yeah yeah so I feel like it's it's sort of a waste so that's why I, I hardly upgrade my equipment uh when I play one and two. Because I'll be like, ah, shit, this, this is a waste. Like, a waste of power nodes. But yeah, I usually didn't upgrade to a high level. So, but this time, every, every node, every point counts. As in, okay, you upgrade your capacity, you upgrade your damage, you upgrade your reload speed. So it all counts. So no longer wasting. And then you, uh, you can buy from the store some extended upgrades for, for your equipment. So sacrifice your mind, a bit of your credits, get extra equipment, which also provides you extra power nodes, which is, oh, it's a genius. So you save money, you get more upgrades, you get power nodes. Mm. Uh, yeah, what else? Okay, one feature that they didn't brought over from the Space 3 mm-hmm. is rolling. You don't roll now. <laughs> In the Space 3, you can roll. Oh, okay. Roll yeah. Forward, roll the side, mm. so yeah. In this one, no. Also, the 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 one thing that I, I okay, I haven't I haven't seen all of the like the the live stream or the the documentary whatever that Sudo Motif put out. But for some reason, they did not put auto deploy helmets here. Like Iron uh-huh. Man. Yeah, oh. because your, your helmet in, in two and three it opens and uh, it it deploys and stores away automatically, right? Uh huh. So yeah. Just store it just store So no, in original one, yeah, yeah, uh, it it doesn't. In the remake, they don't put it in. I don't know why. Even though there's no significance to the story or whatever, it looks cooler when it also deploys. I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> So Isaac never does his face reveal. Isaac does his face reveal. Oh, that. Oh, okay. But he Wait. takes off like a normal helmet. Ah, just, okay, okay. Just all the way. Oh, no, no Iron Man. <laughs> no, no, no Iron Man thing here. For some reason, okay. Okay. If, if for some reason I find uh, a statement, them saying, oh, because during uh, Dead Space 1, they still don't have the folding technology. Okay, Dead Space 3, okay. When you play the prologue, you play as a soldier named Tim, which is part of the uh, sovereign colonist armed forces in, in the planet of Atlantis, okay? <laughs> okay? They already have folding helmets. And they were 200 years ago, two centuries. Come on. Come on, you can retcon this motif. Come on. <laughs> Uh, the only red con is during the S3. Come on. <laughs> oh well. Okay, you just need picking, but yeah. For me, one of the for me the, the another thing that defines that space is the the helmet. Like the folding helmet. That's just the Iron Man thing, okay? It's just me thinking. Okay? Forget about it. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> they, they are making a proper Iron Man game after this, so Yeah, they're making a proper game, anyway, uh, so don't worry about it. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Now imagine well, that Iron Man. Man. Ooh, imagine Iron Man has the Isaac <laughs> Isaac Clocks uh rig as an outfit. That would be a weird crossover. Mm, yeah. I mean yeah. Isaac is in Fortnite so nothing's off the cards. Yeah. Yeah, nothing off the chart at this point. <laughs> mm, do whatever. Yeah, maybe we have Iron Man game with the Isaac Clock skin, yeah. The 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 engineering suit. Yeah. They will look cool, man. <laughs> hmm. What else? Okay, ask me anything. I'm losing my train of thoughts here. 
Last question, I guess. Do you like this game? <laughs> Do you like this game? The easiest kind of through this I love it. Screw this game, man. Screw this game. I love it. Yeah. I gave it a 9 out of 10. <laughs> a must play. Yeah, the best Dead Space in the series. Bar none. Okay. Oh, okay. This is the best in, in, in the franchise. That's the code we, we're fishing for. We got it. We got the code. <laughs> we got the code. Uh, we got the code. Uh, well, yeah. looking looking like this is going to stick around uh till the end of this year in our elusive top t- top thirty games for now. The list is empty, so it can slot in right it's now. It's the clean slate, yeah, the mm. clean slate, baby. I think this is one of the first of the the good ones in twenty twenty three. Still, still a whole year to go through, but I think we can already like have that space uh fill one space on there. Mm. Also, that... Waiting for Resident Evil for remake. Oh yeah, my same. god! Now that you say that, uh, uh, the two, this the two year by size of a horror remake, the best of the best horror action horror games getting remakes in the year of our lot 2023. Man, what a year! Honestly, I think this is one of the best year in gaming. Ah, uh, gonna be like on record. <laughs> if, They're really good games. Yeah. yeah. If Capcom continues the the streak with the RE remix, man, man, we gotta revive back the best remix remaster <laughs> uh, category for this year. Looks like, but yeah, okay. So that that's that space, that space 2023, that space remix, whatever you want to call it. Mm. We have one more game to talk about before the news. Yeah. But technically, the news is the same thing as the one our Game Pass Game Club game. So, how about this? Let's run through just a bit of the news because it, the news is not really that much. But and then spend the whole last bit of the podcast in this last game. Yeah, what's sure. the news? <laughs> what What's the news? I guess the biggest one will be uh the recent Xbox and Bethesda showcase, which talks about games that's coming to Xbox. For yeah, the first party Xbox, so Xbox and Bethesda, and I kind of, kind of like last third. Not gonna lie. How many games was that? Four? Was it four or three? Four plus one. Four plus one. Yeah, four plus plus did. And <laughs> uh. Uh, the 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 predictions for the release dates that we made were far off. Redfall right? is coming in May. Yes. Forza, twenty twenty three. No date yet, which means that is being silently delayed to August or something. We don't yeah. know. It's probably gonna be like that. I don't no, think it's gonna be spring. No, no, it's not. I think it's a it's either a summer or or what's case two is yes, spring. Uh, no, no, uh, wait, autumn? So, that, September? That's, that's the worst lah. A racing game in the busiest month of the year. Oh, man. Yeah. Good uh, luck lah. Uh, because April is being uh, occupied by Minecraft Legends. Minecraft Legends, woo. Hold yeah. on, hold on. I'm, I'm hearing these oh, noises. No. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> Are we good now? Are we good now? Man's dying already. <laughs> All yeah, right, so, uh, 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 the last game is what ESO, yeah, Elder yeah, Scrolls so, nobody, Online. Yeah, nobody really talks about that, lol. <laughs> there are people who play, but not here, lah. Uh, it's not even on Game Pass yet. Come on, put it on Game Pass. Isn't it like free to play? No, no, no. no you have to it's buy. Not, yeah, it's not. Buy, yeah. Mm. That's the that's the problem. That's the one game that I thought would have been on Game Pass at least just for the base game, eh? but it's not. That's interesting. Yeah, I I expected it to be there. You could have just made it, um on Game Pass and then sell the expansions, lah. Because they are it looks like every year they got expansions. Yeah, yeah, every year, non-stop hmm. since then. So that's a pre- impressive. Yeah, for an MMO. 
Uh, which is a rare breed these days. So, but there's one last game. That was the uh, reason. Yeah. Uh, it was high. It was the game that we'll talk. We'll be talking about later. Is high fire rush. So that will be interesting. And I guess we shall talk about the worst one, the one that Mac is going to be very disappointed. I'm pretty sure. What? What was it? Redfall. <laughs> ah, we've, men <laughs> we've mentioned it. It's coming out in May. Move on. <laughs> no, I want to talk about it. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about. Let's move on. <laughs> in denial. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we, I guess we can talk about Forza then. Uh, 200 cars, 20 locations. 500 plus. 500, 500 plus. which is good number. And then you see locations, only 20. So 20, um, more or less 20 tracks. Five of them are going to be brand new. The one of the brand new ones is in Kialami, uh, South Africa. Which is Gran Turismo. So it was 30, it's 1990, I think. So it's 19, 1990, So that will be 56 tracks. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, so mm, right. Why yeah, still uh, long way to go? But it says yes. on launch, so let's see lah. Uh, I I did catch a mention on the other stream. There's a Forza monthly stream, and they've mentioned that for Laguna Seca, there's gonna be another layout, a historic layout, a historic layout that does not exist in the real world today. Hey, yo, what? That's a historic layout. I think ah they say they say like from the sixties or something. Laguna Seca, sh the historic layout, the that that part of the track is like a parking lot. They say. <laughs> okay, that's funny as well. Okay, that is that's how you do it. Like oh yeah, this track used to be a parking lot. Ha ha ha. Like uh, uh, I think part of the you know the 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 hairpin start at the Andretti hairpin they call it right the the first turn. I think that part doesn't exist back then as well. So. Ah, it, I see. If they're going to go balls out with the layout offerings, I think that kind of like balance it out a bit with the with the only twenty locations, and let's see how uh let's see how the game is being updated on a monthly basis or not as well. Now I'm not expecting every month there's gonna be a new track. That's gonna that's that's too far, <laughs> but the the benchmark is Gran Turismo. Seven. Yeah, so, every um, yeah now now it's every two yeah every two months the be new track. That because Forza Horizon Five uh, currently has slowed down in terms of the new car drops, so probably gonna see the effort is being poured into the new motorsport game. Most probably. Mayhaps. <laughs> uh, they say in the business nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Let's see lah. Uh, I don't think I have uh, much to say about ESO other than that. Oh, Minecraft Legends. Minecraft Legends is the Diablo thingy, right? Yeah, it's okay. It looks nice. I mean, yeah. It is essentially good. If you don't want... If you wait for Diablo 4, how about play Baby's first Diablo? It's... Technically, an uh, a strategy game. It's not. It's oh, not proper. Uh, that, that's that's not the, yeah, yeah. Uh, the the Diablo one is Minecraft Dungeon, Dungeons. Dungeons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is the the XCOM. Yeah, yeah. Minecraft XCOM. Yeah, I'm I'm confusing both of them now. Or maybe Pikmin because you know you control one character, but then you call in the mobs to be around you, and then you issue orders to the mobs. There's there's a RTS strategy. Uh, there's a RTS uh subgenre of this, but I cannot recall what exactly is it. But other than that, there uh, there's multiplayer as well for that PvP. So if you're into that, okay, I see, I see. So so shall we talk about our Game Pass Game Club Game of the Day or the Week actually? <laughs> Because there's not many other games on Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. Ah, gee, it's what like, happened? It, it's just like... Eh. <laughs> eh. 
Okay, so for one thing, in January, the drip of new Game Pass games has been like... Mm, yes. <laughs> yes. And... Okay, you got Persona, you got Monster Hunter. What else? Looks around the room. Uh, uh, and then week, suddenly, now yeah, now we week, get it. Near the end of the month. We get, yeah, this game. And of course, uh, the James Bond game as well, the Golden Eye, but... Ooh, it's jank. <laughs> I can say that. Do be janky though. What do we expect? It's Golden Eye. <laughs> oh it, it was like that. The standard was low. The standard was. There's no standards back then. Okay, so. High top. Rush. A high top rush. I'm, I'm a bit confused with another <laughs> game again. Hi Fi Rush. It is a game by Tango Gameworks. I'm surprised you. I'm surprised that you didn't confuse it with like Big Time Rush or something. That's always in my mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a Big Time Rush. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we are dead, coming to that age, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, high fi right? Oh, maybe like confused with Wi Fi hush or something. Wi Fi hush, oh no. <laughs> uh, you know the game's coming in hot? You know how I know the game's coming in hot? Because all the branding of the game's uh, internal files all, all pointed out to the code name of the game, Hibiki. Hibiki? That's actually Hi- good. That's a Hi- good name. Hibiki. Like, if you. If you take a screenshot of that game right now, it will see Hibiki underscore whatever, whatever, whatever. If you screenshot it with the Xbox app. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, you know, because they don't want the game to be leaked. Because this is a shadow drop, as the business calls the it. Shadows, the shadows of shadow drops. <laughs> yeah, announce the game, release it, settle. What hype? Play it now. Oh, Game Pass. Okay, back to... Uh, what's the game again? What is the game about again? It is about... You are Chai. You are a boy who just broke his arm. So he he decides, Oh yeah, a very scary corporal, robo-corporal shall fix my arm. Nothing will ever go wrong. Spoiler, it goes wrong. <laughs> and then and... suddenly... And then suddenly you you are now half robot and there's an iPod or or the the in-game universe version of an iPod is stuck inside your heart. So now every attack you do, every jump, every do- dodge, is now using it's now in sync with the music. And now that you mentioned that uh, this is Chai and a magical airport, uh, magical iPod. <laughs> magical iPod, yeah. The sequel, remember. the sequel to Aloy and a magical airport. Here comes Chai and the magical iPod. Ah, uh, Apple getting this mu- this free money advertising by two two different companies. They should. <laughs> uh, can one is the airport and one is the old school, but like whoa. Man's banging this bank. Uh, let's talk about the beat. But first, I didn't expect uh, this game to look as good as it is. Because, you know, that plenty of games are using cell shading. There's no... Um, it's things that we have seen. But there's a level of commitment that I haven't seen in Hi-Fi Rush in terms of how the animation skips frames just to make it like sell you on like oh uh, comic reaction or you know, we are doing this because it looks cool in other words spider verse s in some frames there's also the commitment to making it look like a comic book to the point that you can see half tones patterns, which is the the dot 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 things that you can see in the patterns surrounding the world, or the UI, or the text. Oh yeah, the text is of course written in comic uh, font. No, not comic sans, but some sort of comic font. Yeah, it's like the very accurate comic book style. Ah, uh, it's it like about that, that Sega Genesis game. About a comic. I don't know why this is one comic game by Sega Genesis. Uh, that's too far for me to... Uh, but 
is a more recent example. Remember Void Bastards? Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, yeah. my age is shiny to show. <laughs> Uh, Gen- Genesis is too far. <laughs> I cannot. Uh, I cannot Nintendo, Nintendo, whatever. Kan? Je- je- uh, not a familiar platform for me. Not for me as well. But I remember. Yeah, one of my cousins have it. Weirdly ah. enough. Yeah. No wonder. Uh, but the whole bit about having you attack on the beat, move on the beat, it is interesting. Though, but, but it's not like uh, in the style of Crypt of the Necrodancer, which is also interesting because in those games, in Crypt of the Necrodancer and that le- the, the, the Legend of Zelda spin-off game, right? Whatever mm-hmm. he calls it, uh, Heroes of Hyrule, not Heroes of Hyrule, but Hyrule thing. Uh, uh, those games, you must abide to the beat to really yes. actually move, to actually hit something. You must maintain the beat. So for those who are um, um, may not be musically attuned, as in that they cannot maintain a pop, 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 pop like a metronomic, yeah, uh, metronomic, I mean, like a metronome. Oh, it's functional. <laughs> Oops. Oh, uh, 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 if you cannot uh, co- uh, have a beat uh, consistently like a metronome, you basically are out of question unless there are accessibility options where you can play without regarding the beat. But the way High Fire Rush is designed is that every attack is on the beat. But if you are hitting the buttons on the beat, you get better points or you get better damage or something like that. You, it rewards you to be on the beat. But if you mess it up, still you can like go go with it. Uh, you just say uh, it doesn't say oh punish, which is interesting. So. It actually like eases you in into like uh, getting the the rhythm out of things, and it also helps that everything is on beat. Like you yes. have options. Like okay, you want the 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 floating drone cat to blip. How how does it blip? The the pattern of the blip, and then there's a button that shows you the metronome. Like it shows you a pop 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 that thing, and then you see everything in the environment, all of them animated. To the beat, the lights glow, 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 off, 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 on, all on the beat. The platforms that you have to do platforming things move on the beat. Ta ta rest, rest, ta ta ta. Everything, which is make, which is like the the commitment to the beat is actually very commendable. Like, huh, never seen this sort of game before. It's, they went far. They they hit it strong. And I have mentioned it that this is technically a character action game. Mm-hmm. This is technically a character action game. You do six style, uh, you do you smoking style combos. There's a ranking system. Yeah. If you keep on like, uh, if you finish uh, the encounter fast, you can get grades ranging from D to S. Doesn't go to SSS, which is a shame. But hey, you can get S ranks in your musical rhythm action game. I like the I like the an, uh, the enemy variation as well. Like, even though it is a generic robot, and but they do have they even like at the start of the game they also like very very. So you have a generic goon, and then he'll have a sniper man, and then you have uh like like can I like a rocket guy, rocket guy kind of too. So like they, they keep you on your toes as you try to you know follow the beat, which is very cool. Yeah, it plays like a character action game. Even the 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 control is that tight, which also means that as when uh because of the way it is attuned, the control is attuned. Uh, platforming is a bit hit or miss. I don't know yeah. if you have that problem, Daniel, but it, because yeah, jumping sometimes. is too floaty, and the jump doesn't feel like it's on the beat, so it really throws you off. But you need to have floaty jumps. In a character action game too, like because of free, the the freedom of movement is just better like that. So uh, th- that's one gripe I have. Uh, also, 
um, there's a there's a hint of cringe there if you can stomach it or not. It's not it's not for spoken levels of oh no why are not is the is the writing like this, but but you can feel it just just a little bit. Like Chai is not like your your lovable. It doesn't come come off as, as lovable protagonist Couple hero. Dork. Mm. I mean, he's a dog, <laughs> but but uh, he's too cocky at the start okay. of the game. So he's just like, oh man, come on lah. It's very yeah, uh, it's very Scott Pilgrimly in nature. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I can I can read the them. Ah, uh, there, there you go. R- really uh, like Scott Pilgrim, yeah. Can very mm. cocky like, oh yeah, I can defeat your your yeah all, all of you. Well, uh, he gets beaten up. <laughs> mm-hmm. at, at least the game still like humbles him down from time to time. Yeah, that's like boom. He, 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 <laughs> she is the butt of the butt of the joke of various slapstick uh, uh slapstick things. So like I think the first chapter ended with a bang, and you literally see him getting uh, uh what do you say rag doll from explosion. Yep. While yeah, the yeah. ranking comes up, yo, time, yo, ranking, 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 and then he's just ah, almost dying from explosion. Cool. So it didn't went too far with the cringe. Just, just enough for you, like okay lah, okay lah. We can roll in it. Eh? The use of the soundtrack. Uh, Daniel, how far have you played? Uh, I chapter 2 but i've seen my, you know people on live streams and my discord friends played until the, essentially i can think i can just spoil this one uh, it has the tomb of invaders might die so <laughs> like imagine yeah that's what like that's like that wow that is amazing okay i can see it top 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 and i can see it like i mean the 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 first boss fight with nine inch nails playing right yeah that's, you know that's the the the, the refrain then and then jump jump every time yeah, yeah, i hear yeah. every then and then i will just double jump 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 then and then jump then and then jump jump so it's fun because you know games that there are games that have tried to imbue musical themes and makes you like feel like oh maybe i should play this in a specific rhythm to get me in the zone but this game i find rush absolutely wants you to be in set zone you you totally should be in that zone you should totally feel the beat yes mm. so there's a lot of times like um i, I also like the positive reinforcements when you get the uh the just timing just right Like when you hit the button at the at a metronome's uh, pace, the game will go hey 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 hey. And there's also clever uses of uh, timing. You know that character action games have the usual press button, pause, yeah. press button, press button, right? Yeah. That's uh, cleverly enough. They use the musical terms for this. It's called the rest combo. Uh, Hit, rest, hit, hit. For those who learn musical theory, you should totally get it, lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even the heavy attack is like okay. Uh, light attack is like tap, 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 tap. Heavy attack is like tap, tap. I I wonder if there are like more variations of the beats. Ah, probably no lah. But but just the just those two notes are complicated enough. Yeah, like. <laughs> I think like one of my favorites is like you know the beat uh, for like someone as no you're not uh what's it called uh good enough uh, music classes you know the the predicate music is always a C or a D. <laughs> it's actually nice. Yeah, it's nice that they they actually like okay ease you on to the you know the resting and all. Yeah, and and still uh at the end of the day. Fight, uh, pressing on the beat is not compulsory, which thankful, thank God it isn't because the as a whole game like this, uh, there might be people who just just cannot play. I mean, it's not not everybody can maintain have have a rhythm. It's just like that. 
but for folks who do have that or pr- probably have played too many video game uh, video games too many rhythm games in their life i think this is a very neat uh pick on the genre character action but on a rhythm That is to say, folks at Metronomy, please don't take this too hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, because you know, the, like that, that is my personal opinion. That is like the one thing that when uh, when I heard about No Straight Roads and I thought that, oh, because of the game being, uh, having this all sort of musical themes. How is it like maybe they are going that hard, like having a rhythm based as well? No, no, they are not doing rhythm based, which is fine. That you can have a uh, musical action games. See Brutal Legend. That's an action game with also an RTS thing for whatever reason. But it is like team. It is fully team as a heavy metal album. Totally fine. But when I saw that game, when I saw No Straight Rules, I just thought to myself, man, what if the the whole game is rhythm based? And I got it with I Rush. That's why I kind of like uh, see that <laughs> because this is technically this is the game that I wanted when I saw that game. Not to not to like uh, you know de- whatever that No Straight Roots done is good, is great. There are fans that love that game. Yep. Totally fine. Understandable. <laughs> mm. But but when it comes to games, I I will always gravitate towards which game has. The gameplay that like hooks me in, and this is what this is it. This is this is my spot on it, and I hope that despite the weird, uncanny similarities of High Fi Rush and No Straight Rules, I mean, come on, rock music, fighting corpus, come on, come on. Uh, the, maybe they like uh the the the. It, it, It might not be too much of a coincidence to say that High Fire Rush might have like took notes from No Straight Roads because of that. But at the end of the day, I hope that this sparks more rhythm action games in general. More games that try to do rhythm things but with their own spin to it. Like No Straight Roads paved the road. <laughs> And then let's see where where everybody else goes with it. Yeah, yeah. I wish I played this game more because from what I played on the first chapter, I think this is my favorite game so far this year. Ooh. <laughs> it's only been it's only been 27 January. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But then have you looked at the games that I've been playing? <laughs> <laughs> That's the game, context. Cringe cringefest.gog. Uh, so so the bar is low. Admittedly, I didn't touch that space yet. Also, so that's why I'm saying like I find Rush is like, yeah, might be best game on Game Pass as well. But who knows? We'll see how the the year goes on. But this is totally a fascin uh, a a very nice surprise to see. I'm glad that it's not leaked as well. So there there is no hype. You see what you get. And then everybody just are uh, pleasantly surprised. Oh, Pork, a good game. <laughs> ah. Rather than like uh, going through the whole apa, media, uh, media the, the, the whole hype train for one year where people talking on social media try to hype themselves. Yo, oh, this game is coming out next month. Look at this. Yo, this game is coming out today. Oh, the game's out. It's not that fun. But more I mean, less Nintendo, hard. Yeah, Nintendo <laughs> does that every time. So why, <laughs> why y'all like surprised when Xbox does that? Can <laughs> I? I rather have games that suddenly appear, and then O is out. I mean, after the, I guess the trade off is you don't get early reviews. Like you, no, no, I don't think any outlet run any reviews with it because, so so easy to leak but you get the that positive uh surprise reactions from across the board 
which probably might be better off. Like, I don't mind having to play games on day one when suddenly you get a surprise release like this. I mean, if it's good, we're gonna be raving it for at least a month or so. But if it's bad, we can just... I don't know, make fun of it for a month. <laughs> no, we can just move on. But yeah, Hi-Fi Rush. And I think that will be the podcast, yes? As well, is it? Is it not? Think is so. it? Yep, that's it. I mean, there's no more news. Yeah, uh, check out Hi-Fi Rush. It's on Game Pass. PC and Xbox. Xbox series, I should mention. No, not Xbox oh, yeah, One. Yeah. This no, is yeah, next no. gen game. We current gen. <laughs> it's not current gen. We yeah, don't. current gen, yeah. Forgot it's been three years. This is year four. No, this is year three. No. Year three, yep, year three. Because twenty it, it released in late twenty twenty. Twenty years. Okay. What's on the thumbnail? Uh Ohio? <laughs> I put an Ohio flag last time. Well. Okay, like Tanah Merah, Kelantan. Let's see. Oh my god. I think we did the joke about Tanah Merah one time ago. Now I mean, remember trying to remember stuff. Uh, or just put a picture of Kelit somewhere. Hmm. In the background, uh, let's put Isaac Clark on, uh, from Fortnite. Oh yeah, the guy from Fortnite. Yeah, the, the guy, guy from Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, imagine learning today that that uh, that guy from Fortnite suddenly has a, their own spin-off game. Oh. And I guess uh, hmm, Joel maybe, perhaps. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, Jewel Varian what I I I wanted to Marian. say is that is that Jewel from Fortnite? <laughs> I don't no. think there is. Oh, yeah, right. I think there is. Yeah, no, there unless, is. Unless, there is no Jewel from wait. Fortnite. No, you have to wait until it releases in March for the free series. Then you can have Jewel from Fortnite. We have Kratos from Fortnite. We should have just Jewel from Fortnite. No, no, the, you know, wait for its PC launch on Epic in, in March, and then we can have Jewel for Fortnite. <laughs> As foretold, <laughs> the elders will be foretold. My goodness. And I think it's done, yeah. Yeah, I, I put a magical iPod somewhere. Oh yeah, magical iPod as well. Oh yes. Alright. So then, uh, social links. Alright, so I shall go first then. Uh, this has been Daniel. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, that is FL4KY. I am win on the men and working on this one game, this very beautiful game. We have been playing so far, besides Force Waker, the January has been good for games because I will be reviewing the, this very nice Indonesian game called A Space for the Unbound. And it I could. think that... <laughs> What's with the space name nowadays? That's why. Topi, uh, topi. Sequel to Depot Speed Unbound. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I wish. <laughs> uh, shout out to Uncle yeah. Johan for that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, goodness, yeah. You can get expect that uh, anytime on our website before the next episode. Mm-hmm. And oh yeah, it is a tearjerker voice. Very sad. Oh <laughs> man. Oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter. Thank God, it's still alive. It's still alive. Check, In- counting, counting another podcast where Twitter's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Yeah, okay. You can find me on Twitter, drop near. They are for EPN on R. They are for EPN on R. So by the time you listen to this podcast, my review written review on that space already been out yeah. yes Mac and I have been Amirul Macronos Ashraf M-E-C-K-R-O-N-O-S find me on Twitter there somehow while well, it's still there uh, I have published a couple of things on GameWriters.com which I may or may not remember on top of my head. There is a review for One Piece Odyssey. There is an impression for uh, definitely not fried chicken. 
Um, that's a real title by the way. Mm, that's a real title. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> mm, uh, guess what that game is. Uh, uh, there should be something. Some. Yeah, I cannot remember it, but I've been juggling through games, so expect more impressions of upcoming games, upcoming demos. Uh, Steam Next Fest is kicking off like maybe next week or so by yep, the time of this week. recording, oh, and no. we have seen some demos. The demos I have been some demos I have been also announced somewhere here and there. Ah, uh, also I'm also currently playing for Spoken, so uh, wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not as terrible as people say, it, but mm. that that you you need a certain tolerance. Oh, Let's cringe. see. <laughs> uh, uh, tolerant factor, yes. <laughs> I think there was a moment where uh, the whole conversation was like, uh, your your heroines continues to speak in their own colloquial English. And the folks who are speaking in medieval English are like, uh, uh, sorry, crash, crash, like uh, um, sleep. Oh, ah, yes, yeah, sleep. <sighs> ah. Oh no. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> you, there's there's a lot of those things like ah, uh, why people don't flesh out your fish out of water uh characters and have everything explained. This is why. <laughs> Anyway, that's the you know lot give it this podcast and in space you know what you know what Jess is cream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it though? Yeah, as long as you can feel the beat. <laughs> <laughs>